Welcome back to Talking Pop Culture. I just attended Metro Comic Con here in Melbourne, Australia. It is a two-day event. I didn't go today. I only had time to go for it yesterday. So we're going to review that, and I'm also going to show off some cool little toys that I picked up. And yes, as you saw in the title, they are some Dragon Ball Z. I said, once I get into this world, I'm going to end up buying shit, and I'm going to do it all. I'm one of these bays are going to go, I think it's going to be this one. This one's the one that's going to go and it's going to become the Dragon Ball Z or anime kind of manga bay on my shelf. So without further ado, let's get into this review and let's discuss the goods and the bads about uh, Metro Comic Con. Alright, so the goods and the bads kind of come together. Bad thing was, firstly, it was very, very quiet. I was very shocked on how quiet it was. Uh, it is their first event, but... Being said that being that it's quiet, there was really no foot traffic. When we pulled up to the parking, I was like, whoa, we're driving straight in. There was no line to get in. But it is obviously a new event, so you could expect that. And being inside, again, you can move around, actually look at the shops that you wanted to look at. But again, on the bad side of that, if there's not much people there, will there be another event next year? So the next thing I'm going to say is the guests. A couple things I want to talk about when it comes to guests. It has Comic Con written in the title. This goes for the same as Oz Comic Con. Now, I believe these are the original owners that start Oz Comic Con. Uh, they've started Metro Comic Con now. There's the word comic in it. And when it came to the comic book art, I guess they weren't really that big. We had Sean Galloway from America, who is probably the biggest one I've seen since maybe Nick Spencer at Supernova a fair while ago. We did get all the Aussie homebred talent. Uh, John, I uh, can't say his name, Samaria, Tom Taylor, Nicholas Scott, Andrew Constant. We did got guys like that and ladies like that, which is all good and all. But then, obviously, there was the big name actors. I can't remember all the actors' names off the top of my head. The, the sergeant, the copper from Stranger Things who played Hellboy and that. And I get they need the TV and movie celebrities, actors, actresses to bring in the people and bring in the money. I get that. But I think these conventions maybe not supernova so much because i don't really put comic in their title if you're gonna have the word comic in there try to get bigger names when it comes to that department okay yes tom taylor is a big name i get that nicholas scott i get that andrew constance climbing his way up there i get that but we want to see american ones you know what i mean we want to see the nick spencer well we already seen nick spencer we want to see sorry donny cates uh joshua williamson um, Jesus, Robert Kirkman, just got so many flying to my head, hard to think on the spot. But yeah, it'd be good to see more guests like that. And then another thing going on guests, which I find kind of strange and weird and a bit fishy, is a couple of the celebrities from America cancelled pretty much 24 hours before coming. Now, what I don't really understand with that is, the flight kind of takes 30 hours to get here and you're cancelling within 24 hours. So, in my mind, I start thinking, well, you knew you weren't coming well and truly before the 24 hours, you know what I mean? And I start to think, do these people that pull out actually pull out a week or two weeks before and the event holders maybe just push it out as long as they can so that they can sell tickets? Because I just find it very ironic and just very confusing that they cancel 24 hours before the event. When it takes them 30 hours to get here. I, I, I don't know. I could be thinking too much, looking in too much. I'm a negative person, I guess, sometimes. So I, I kind of look into things like that. But all in all, I do hope it comes next year. It's good to have three cons a year. But again, I would like to see, and that goes with Supernova and Oz Comic Con, I'd like to see more comic book guests um that's the one thing that i go for the to these for i don't really go for the celebrities anymore you know i love Stephen amell but i didn't go purely because and get his signature it's just too much man 100 bucks just for a meet and greet like i'm sorry man but fuck 100 bucks you know when they're paying about 40 50 maybe 60 that's probably the most i'll go 60 bucks for a signature i'll go do that but when these guys are paying 120 bucks for a photo and then you gotta pay 100 bucks to get that photo signed I just think it's ridiculous pricing and the lines. You'd be waiting forever. Half your day goes. Like, we only spent probably three, four hours there, me and my mate, because he was going around showing his portfolio to all the artists and the writers, and they all loved it, which was really, really, really good. Um, and I'll tell you, my boy, he's, he's going to get there. So, what I purchased at 
Metro Comic Con. I got a couple of Dragon Ball stuff because I told, I said, I said once I get into this shit, I'm going to end up buying everything. But before I show the Dragon Ball toys, I did obviously get my Neverlanders hardcover book signed by Tom Taylor and John Samaravia. I can never say the name, so I did get them to sign my book. Um, this is a great book. They did say they're writing and working on the script for the next one. Well, Tom Taylor said, the script's finished. I've sent it to John, but John hasn't done the artwork yet. So we're just waiting for John to finish the artwork. So hurry up, John, because I want to read this book because it's really, really good. Okay, so the first one I'm showing off, I've got them out of the box, but I've got the Soul Edge Works, Solid Edge Works trunks. And I will do like a, a, a YouTube short on these to get better thing. I bet. I've taken them out of the box already, but I don't know, because they would autofocus. It's going to be hard. Ooh, don't focus on me, focus on a toy. But there you go, that's Trunks. I will do a little YouTube short on them and to uh, give you a better quality pitch on them. But yeah, Trunks, absolutely love it. And then also I got my boy. Now this is the different one, Matera, Materia, GX Materia uh, Piccolo. Again, I'll do YouTube shorts on the things during the week to get them up. But yeah, he's all set up. Who is my favorite character in Dragon Ball Roy? Uh, there we go. No, I just can't get that autofocus. There we go. And it also comes with the shooting. I forget the move. I'm such a fanboy. I'm a noob. But yeah, they're going to go. I don't know. I'm going to get rid of probably. I'm going to get rid of this. Bring that down. And I might put my books up there along with the statues. But these are cheap. There's only $34.95 Australian. So, like. I'm going to end up buying a lot of these. There is a Gohan one that I want from the Cell Saga. And I'm just up to the part where him he just fought all the Cell Juniors, Gohan. So I'm nearly there. There's the update on Dragon Ball Z. But there's the one just when he's in his outfit and it's all ripped up. He's got the blood. It's by the Solid Edge Works. It looks so good. I'm definitely going to get that one. That is my next one. And yeah, just if you haven't done, if you're watching this video for the first time, we have a subscriber giveaway going it ends this week end the 12th i think it was at the 12th i can't remember what date i put but go back into my channel have a look for the video there i'll put a link in the description below uh every 50 followers give away a 30 dollar amazon gift card so if you chance to win head over there you gotta be subscribed so hit that subscribe button and yeah let me know your thoughts if you went to metro comic con did you enjoy it what were your things that you enjoyed about it and that you didn't and yeah, if you collect these, let me know which ones you have and which ones you like because yeah, these are this is gonna be my new I'm gonna end oh, I'm gonna end up broke. Better just wait until after I get back from Colombia before I go spending all my money on this shit. But yes, thanks guys for watching. Truly appreciate it. And I'll see you soon with another video. Peace.